Welcome back to Voluminous Gaming, and we're doing the Sanatorium. Interesting. We got foul spawns again. I remember these from earlier. Apparently... The doors are gonna open. Oh no! Yeah, you walk forward and the doors pop open. How about that? Okay. Kind of expected when I saw him. We we got Gru again. Let's... Haven't fought these things for a while. Here we go. I hate to have to check each one of these cells, but... I'm a gamer like that who has to make sure there's nothing in any of these. All right. <laughs> and you might have noticed my uh, my game's chopping a little. My daughter hopped on her computer and she's streaming uh, Ninja Turtles from Nickelodeon. So. Sorry if it's a little odd looking here, a little choppy. I'm uploading to YouTube while recording and see her still isn't dead, eh? I have no idea where that thing died. Oh, right there. How about that? Okay. I keep hearing monsters, but I'm not seeing them. Oh, I don't have a dungeoneering kit. Oh, there's a secret door right there. I wonder if my dungeoneering kit's broke or... Who knows? Actually, you know what? It's the last day of the beta. I'm going to see if I can't buy a dungeoneering kit off of their... Zen... off their store here. With, uh... Let's see. A dungeoneering kit. Packs... Keys, boards, hmm, bags, fashion, mount, profession, services, companion, active slot, any coins, rename. Is there a search? Apparently, it's all in Zen, anyways. You can't buy anything with astral shards. That's awful. That is awful. What's the point in having astral shards if you can't spend them on anything other than the auction house? Yes, the auction house is not in gold. The auction house is in astral shards. How do you like that? So the only way you can buy anything is to get astral shards. But then if you want anything else, you have to get Zen. Oh, yeah. Uh, identify scrolls are in astral shards, so... They're kind of like, oh, we, you have to pump lots of money into this to buy your Astral Shards and your Zen. And apparently, you're supposed to be able to convert one to the other, but it's going to be like a really horrible conversion rate and probably not worth it at all, right?
Huh. That is not cool. Wasn't it expect wasn't expecting it to spawn more zombies on me, you know? Go over and freeze these Groovy. Take care of them before we take care of the Seer. Um, that was weird. I went to cast my my spell and it didn't go off. Like, we'll say it was interrupted, right? Mimic! No. <laughs> Thank goodness. Get a little tired of the whole scream mortal thing going on. In the background. Like I should, he if I should hear monsters, I should be able to see them, right? Not a single monster. I'm sure that's probably Prophet Rohini. That's probably your end boss. You can hear her all the way from the door, right? Pow! 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 Now the door is magically open, right? And I'm gonna get... Hmm. I can't target those Abishai up there. That's a shame. Wonder if I stand on this if I can. No. Well, so much for dragging them down. So what you should be taking away from this is that the wizard can be self-sufficient, can solo things, right? Because I am not, it's not like I'm optimized this character, and it's not like I'm a great spellcaster or anything. I don't, I stopped playing wizards after they uh, nerfed fire, all the fire skills and reworked everything in update 14 of, of uh, DDO. Ah, she moved. As I cast, she moved. Oh no, 
Our loot flew over the end there, didn't it? That's ah, just gold. We'll be okay without it. I am gonna go home over here and loot this chest, though. I'm a loot core. kind of threw me off. That teleporting behind thing definitely uh, throws your targeting away. And now I made it up here and there's another chest. And a whole bunch of imps that we will probably take care of first. Now that chest. Yay. Oops. Let's identify some of this stuff that I've picked up. Boom, boom, boom. Waste some of my identify scrolls and stuff I can't use. Alright. <laughs> Yeah, the re I found out regeneration is not worth it. So let's see if uh, let's see if I have another experience enchant here. Glory, here we go. We'll wear this instead because it has more defense. That uh, that uh, regen just doesn't do anything. I had like a hundred something regen and I was getting healed for like four. Apparently you get healed for more when you're at, when you're bloodied and then it has diminishing returns like the healthier you are. Okay, well, um, kind of a boss battle thing here. So, let's go at it. This is not the guy that we're here to kill. Dodge! Wretches on me. It's like it's like I'm playing uh, Gears of War. We got wretches. Oh, that still hit me. Okay, well. Nice, I interrupted him. Wow, I've really done well against this boss, I think. Like, I got tagged once for 1,200. But other than that... Oh, I gotta seal the line off that? Holy crap! I, I didn't realize I'd be getting blue items out of here. <laughs> wow! Um, so I got a cloak of the Ashmati. A uh, whole bunch of life steal on it, but we decided earlier that life steal was not worthwhile. So we'll uh, we'll pass that. We'll pass on wearing that. We'll sell it. I'll sell it. Ow. See, normally you would bottleneck them as they came around the corner there you just waste them but uh, these guys were smart enough to stand there and just kill my companion who was standing there like an idiot <laughs> Ugh, some of these out of line of sight things are 
There we go. Oh! Ow. Ow. Ooh. Lag there. I really don't want to be down here when I've already stepped on like two traps, but... That's what I have to do, then that's what I have to do. <laughs> at least I, uh, at least my cleric's finally starting to heal me. Okay, well, we've gone all the way around this room. Let's progress, right? Not cool. I just I drank a potion. I hit the button to drink a potion, and the number count went down, and I did not get healed. Mmm. Bug. Report that. That's for sure. Wonder if I'm supposed to be doing this with a group. <laughs> the drop in blue items. You would think I'd need to be doing this with a group. Arcana kit. No, that'll get sold. I'm gonna go ahead and kill these guys. And then stand here at the shrine and get healed. No sense in uh, walking five feet and getting hurt. Well, I can just kill them and then get healed. Right? Ugh, portable altars need to be faster healing. 150 a tick is getting to be pretty slow, especially when I've hit over 10,000 hit points. It must be must be unbearable for like guardian fighters who probably have like quadruple the hit points I do. Drink a couple of potions. We'll see how that works out for me. Um. First person view. That did not hit as many guys as I'd hoped it would. I really wonder if there's a limit on how many creatures you can hit with an attack. Because there have been a couple times that I've thrown the I've thrown the uh, daily where it's the big ice attack and I've not had it hit everything. I've had like two or three things still standing there. Hmm. I know, I know. Potions are for combat, not for... Not for when you're out of combat. Thievery hit. Hmm. I wanted to see what this was that I picked up. 
More power and life steal. No thank you. I have 500 bonus hit points <laughs> off of my necklace. I will stick with that. About halfway through this level too. Level 33. Uh, next level, I should get the new... Oh no, it's 35. I thought it was 34. Okay. Arcane Singularity. I should get that at 35. Alrighty. I'm pretty well healed. I'm trying to tag the guy in the background there, but these these guys aren't letting me. Are they? Wow, my camera is just like trying to spin left and right to target these devils when they teleport. It's like I'm trying so hard to keep up, I really am. I wasted an altar and there's a thing right here. That figures. That figures. Maybe I'll get lucky and this will be the boss fight. Alright. Yay, boss fight! I still haven't run across uh, Prophet Rohini, so maybe enter the cathedral. Nope, whole new area. Alrighty, well. Dodge. Because you can't fire through this grating here. Apparently they can, but we can't. Oh, fine then. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. Um, big shock troop devil just kind of dropped down the sky. And we remember the uh, hole. The only way to take care of these guys is to dodge. Right? I think they're definitely not as tough as they are out in the wilderness. They, uh, in the wilderness area, I think they've been increased because they probably expect other people to run up and attack them or something while you're doing it. Dodge! Whew. Boom, bop, a boom. I don't remember whether I had to heal on that or not. I think uh, that one came across without having to heal. I cannot see Imp. I can see the Imp flapping right there. <laughs> But I can't target the imp over top of a pew. It's called partial cover. Ooh. Didn't realize I was down below half health. Oh, here we go. The Prophet Rohini. She is... dancing for some reason. She's just standing up there dancing for that guy who was floating in the air. Um, succubus is like to lap dance or something? I really don't know. Um, let's see. I don't remember what potions I drank. Devil Slayer, Minor, Minor Reflex, Potion of Force, so, we'll do Accuracy, 
vigor. I have 2,000 temporary hit points. Can't you tell? Alright, well, let's see how awful I do uh, when fighting this thing. Oh god! So, wow, that was a... You remember the Hellfire Maguses cast that one really awful uh, thing that throws you up in the air? She cast this big X-shaped one that's like, there's five of them. Seem to be tearing through her pretty quick, though. Until she summons Devil Legionnaires and things like that. Oh, there I went. Yep, I got hit by it. Ooh, dang. I don't know if the sound is cut cutting out on the video as well, but it's cutting out in my game. Dodge! Woo! Close. Of course, as soon as I take care of these Legionnaires, she's going to summon more, right? Of course. Summon more. Summon way too many. Okay, let's finish her off with a daily. Oh! No! It barely tagged her. On the... At the far reaches of everything. It barely tagged her. Oig. Let's see what she dropped over here. Who did the sucky buy? Alright, well... Take your treasure. Fortunately for us, Hexaborn spoke the truth about the hidden passage. With Rohini in the depths Well, it looks like that was that for uh, this area. The mad dragon um, protects one of Rohini's artists, known as the Hex Locus. The Hex Locus can be destroyed by the slightest touch of the mortal. But to reach it, you must travel through the crypts and enter the lair of the. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I found out what Chartu effects was. It's a green dragon. Uh, it's actually, you can find it at the very north of this map. I'll throw up a little video showing you, uh, when I found it, it was out of my reach. It was definitely, like, you can't attack it. It's beyond a wall and past where you can reach. Let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna have to deal with some imps in order to get into the tavern here. I'll tell you what, I'll come back, show you the dragon, just kind of save myself some uploading time, and thank you for watching Voluminous Gaming.